All right, we're about 20 minutes to the top of the hour, and all week long we've been focusing on the end of privacy. Today we take a look at online holiday shopping. E-stores have raked in around $22 billion so far this holiday season. That's a 12% jump from 2009. But before you fill up that digital shopping cart, take a look at this. There are about 10 million identity thefts a year, and a growing number of those criminals are preying on people online. Hamu Negum is an internet security analyst in San Francisco. He is with us now. Uh, Hamu, thank you for being with us. We talked about how many uh, identity thefts there are a year. Do we see a spike around the holidays? Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me, TJ. If you think about it, Cyber Monday, recent statistics are telling us, had over 1 billion sales in one single day. That's a record. So that tells us people are going online, and whenever people go online, it's just like the real world. When you go shopping in major malls, the bad guys show up who either to steal your wallet or steal your identity. So we all have to be on guard. You know, I, I, I talked to a security expert over the weekend, and you know what? We, we handed him, one of our, uh, one of our uh, writers, or one of our producers, uh, name and login, and gave him an hour. And we were amazed at how much information he could come back with on the Internet. And one thing he said was, you know what? There's really not much you can do to protect yourself. Is that true? How much can you really do? Well, with all respect, I would disagree with that. Mm -hmm. we, we have to look at this from two perspectives. The companies that have your information and you yourself who chooses to give it to them. If you think about the companies, the, just even the last week alone, the hacks have happened on YouTube, Amazon, MasterCard, Visa, I mean, you name it. The, these are the fabric of America if you think about it. So if you're a consumer at home watching, mm -hmm. you have to look at this in the real world sense. When you look at your keychain, and I'm sure, TJ, you have your keychain, yeah. and your producers say leave it at the door because it jingles too much. Well, there's a separate key for your car, your house, your security deposit box. There's a separate key for your gym locker, for that matter. And your keychain gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And when we're thinking about providing an email address and a password, we have to think about the, our passwords in the same exact way, which is a different password, a different key for every site we visit. And I say this because if you get victimized, let's say on Amazon, okay. That hacker now has your information on the 40 other sites you visited if you kept the same password. So it's really up to you to control what can happen to you. And you don't want to make a mess out of your life because one site got hacked. You really got to think about this. Okay, so that, that's key there, uh, making sure you have different mm -hmm. logins and passwords for all of these different sites you might visit. But, uh, and in regards to something like Visa, right. MasterCard, those, those uh, websites that were hacked, if you use those websites and it's hacked, that's kind of out of your hands at that point. Is there anything you could have done in logging on with your information on those sites to try to reduce the risk? Well, that, yes, there is. What you could do, it may not be, it's actually not out of your hands in the sense that Visa, MasterCard, all of these companies have been put on notice by the hackers. If you can make a great headline, and major corporations in America always make a great headline, it's worth it to talk about them on CNN and other shows. So when, if, you, if you are one of those companies, you ought to be on red alert. You ought to be locking down your systems, protecting their usernames, protecting the password, encrypting them. So that's number one. That responsibility rests on the companies. If you are at home, the responsibility for you is to think about whether or not you're going to allow the company to store your personal information. Uh -huh. When you're shopping, it's so much easier to say, just pull up my old info. Don't worry about uh -huh. it. I left it for you. But if you're nervous, then think about whether or not you give them that right. Th and if you do point. want to give them that right, they need to earn it. Well, that's a very good point that a lot of people probably don't think about. Hey, Moon Eagle, that's why we have you here, because you know this stuff and can bring us some, perfect, some perspective people can actually use. Uh, we appreciate you. Thanks so much. Enjoy your day out there in San Francisco. Thanks for having me, TJ.